hello friends in this video i am going to teach you about introduction to pmc ladder so then the pmc function so what is the role of pmc in cnc okay so then ladder programming elements are the pmc and the next one is pmc addressable okay uh, we are just comparing the different types of pmc versions so get in the video so this is the basic layout of uh, execution of PMC okay uh, we have a PMC ladder here and this is a CNC program uh, this one is servo and the spindle this one is machine so machine is nothing but X input we are taking input from um, machine and we are giving output to machine so output and input comes from machine G command and F commands are uh, related to CNC functions okay so here we have some uh, ladder networks so you just see here we are activating x 6.6 to uh, energize the g 7.2 so this is a basic ladder here we are giving g command okay this is a cnc program we are uh, we are giving g command for example uh, we can take if you want to start the cycle you are pressing the start cycle button okay so when you press the start cycle button this x.6 will get energized or closed okay if this contact is closed so now the rung is initialized so g7.2 is energized so this g command is going to cnc now pmc is uh, uh, calling the cnc to start the cycle so now cnc is getting information from pmc so cnc is starting the uh, cycle okay so again it's giving the f confirm signal okay you have requested to start the cycle now i just started the cycle so uh, cnc is giving the confirmation through f signal okay so here we are getting f 0.5 so this confirms so cnc is started the cycle this f 0.5 signal energizes the 6 0.6 sorry y 6.6 so now in your machine you can take output this y6.6 to indicate to indicate the operator something if you want to see uh, the cycle is started or not okay if the cycle is started the cnc will give the f signal okay through f signal you can activate you can activate uh, any of the output addresses to identify the machine is started or not cycle started or not okay so uh, this is the basic uh, PMC execution suppose if you want to uh, execute or uh, control the axis or you want to move the axis then what should you do okay so here here also PMC is playing so PMC is giving the G commands to CNC okay CMC will take the G commands and it will execute what type of uh, which type of axis uh, is uh, user is request to call and then it will give some g codes to servo okay servo amplifies so this amplifiers will um, modify the signals understandable to motors maybe uh, we have the, some pcb circuits in a module so it will do all the things it will get signal from a cnc uh, cnc then it will um, it will give the signals to run the motor okay suppose uh, if you want to move the x axis in chalk mode mean first you should uh, change the machine mode uh, machine mode into chalk mode okay so now we have uh, turned on the chalk mode so if you are if you give the x 1.1 this g 100.0 will be activated okay so this bit is particularly assigned for x axis maybe 100.1 is for y axis so like that okay so if you are pressing or uh, something uh, x 1.1 1.2 1.3 .1 maybe 1.1 is assigned for x axis and x 1.2 is uh, uh, assigned for y axis 1.3 is assigned for something z axis so a lot of axis there so depending upon the axis you can use the inputs so before that you need to put machine into jog mode otherwise your input won't work okay your axis will not move in the jog mode okay so here we are activating jog mode and x 1.1 if you press the x 1.1 this g code command will send to this servo g command through the g command suppose if you are giving the something uh, 2 mm 3 mm movement or uh, feed rate you are setting feed rate like uh, uh, 10 percentage 20 percentage or suppose if you want to move the axis by 
0.22 mm like that so uh, if you activate this type of signals mean it will give the g command to servo so servo then executes and uh, decodes the commands to the power motor power okay so then uh, if you are giving the some uh, axis movement or uh, something axis signals so we need a confirm okay so you have given the input but we don't know its mode or not so servo servo will give the f signal to confirm okay here f1 102.0 is there and it will giving some confirmation signal okay i have moved the axis also like that okay so next is funnel spindle the same same uh, operation like a servo and cnc if you give the g command if you want to control the spindle you have to give g command through pmc and it will come uh, it will confirm it will give the confirm signal through f signal okay so this is the cnc program is working okay so in the later video in the next or the next video i'll show you how this uh, cnc program and uh, machine function what is the machine function i'll explain in the next video so um, so this is the basic pmc introduction okay so the next slide is the pmc function okay so what is pmc is doing in us uh, every cnc machine in funnel cnc machine so see the pmc uses g addresses to command the cnc and servo and spindle systems and f addresses or return to pmc to confirm the cnc servo spindle as then what it was commanded to do okay the g and f addresses are fixed software addresses and exist only in memory of pmc okay so this g and f addresses are fixed software addresses you can't find in uh, mm, uh, any hardware addresses for example we are we are using the x and y addresses so these are the physical addresses you can find it on every io module but g and f signals this is uh, these signals are fixed software addresses so you can't find in um, for example physically okay you can find uh, you can find it on memory of pmc memory of pmc so so this g uh, these two signals are very special uh, to interface the cnc with pmc we are using these two signals g and f signals okay um, so next is the physical world is connected to the pmc through the io modules using x y y addresses okay so here and there again they are saying the physical world mean for example we have sensors and a lot of inputs and outputs so we are using that uh, uh, io modules to connect this physical world to pmc okay so physical world is nothing but x and y addresses next the x addresses are inputs to pmc and y addresses are outputs from the pmc okay the io board simply converts the signal from uh, 24 volt to digital signals okay see the x addresses are inputs to pmc and y addresses are output from the pmc see x address so we are uh, we are getting inputs to pmc okay uh, for example if we have a sensor so sensor if the sensor gives output mean it will be sent as input to pmc so the next is y y addresses are outputs from the pmc if you if you want to activate uh, one of the outputs are lamp buzzer and the coil and solenoid so uh, those outputs will come from uh, pmc so those are called y we are uh, we are mentioning with a y okay so the next the io board simply converts the signal from plus 24 volt to digital signals okay so uh, we have io board the that io board is doing uh, simply 24 just converting function we are giving the 24 volt control signal it will convert the digital signals like 5 volt like the, which is understandable by pmc okay because pmc won't accept 24 volt because we have some uh, uh, ics in there so ics will do all the works uh, so it will uh, process the input so to, if you give the 24 volt to 5 volt ic it will burn okay so this io board simply converts the signal from plus 24 volt to digital signals which is nothing but maybe the uh, plus 5 volt okay so the next is ladder output coils see the output from the pmc ladder are called coils these coils output to the machine servo spindle systems to command action okay see output coils mean so uh, these are the output co coils output to control the machine servo and spindle systems to command if you want to control some uh, some of the outputs or axes you have to give command okay so using the output coils you can give the commands so output coils is used to control the machine servo and spindle 
systems to command action okay so each coil as an address assigned to it here is the coil for address g70 bit 5 okay so if we press m3 or x2.1 it will become true okay if you press m5 or if you de energize one of these it will becomes de energize okay so this is the simple action we are done here um, so if you actuate the m3 mean g70.5 so g75 70 sorry 70.5 is the uh, clockwise of the spindle so we are just giving the command to spindle to rotate in clockwise okay see when the coil becomes active in later the command is sent to the spindle drive so the, okay so here are some of the later addresses that can be assigned to pmc coil so in the coil uh, we can use a uh, different types of addressing uh, instead of g 70.5 we have lots of addressing is there so here we have mentioned we have we have listed out this this type of signals we can use it here okay so why why is the physical outputs and g is the pmc outputs that command the cnc server and spindle systems or r is the internal relays okay so these are also the special uh, special maybe the special uh, signals okay so this exists only in the later software and used for the purpose det determined by the ladder developer so the next one is data register so data registers are used uh, for internal ladder data storage if you want to store something in your ladder then you can use the d okay so in this coil you can assign d data registers also okay so the next is a alarm operator message display used to display custom machine built alarms on the cnc message display screen okay if you want to display some of the user alarms or machine alarms for example your lubrication level is low uh, okay so you have done the you have written the ladder ladder code but you want to show that alarm in a hmi screen so how will you do that okay so using this a bits okay uh, by assigning here hey bits you can assign the whatever message you want if you if you trigger a particular a address then it will give you some uh, it will show the some error message so in this way you can uh, you can write the alarm operated message display using the a bits okay so in future i'll show i i'll show you a detailed video about this how to write alarm and operator message display so right now this is okay so next ladder input contacts see the inputs to the pmc ladder are called contacts these contacts are input from the machine servo and spindle or internal pmc signal to tell the pmc the status of those signals okay see uh, this is a simple concept they are just explaining the input contacts okay. um, the normally open contact conducts when the signal is active so we have a x2.1 is a normally open when you press or when you energize this x2.1 it will close it will comes to close close condition then the supply will flow through this x2.1 okay so the normally closed contact conducts when the signal is not active so m5 so this is a normally closed contact so this contact uh, will conduct the normally closed contact conducts when the signal is not active so x m5 is there uh, because uh, this one is normally closed normally closed would mean uh, here will be always power supply okay if you if you energies are uh, activate uh, here this contact will come to open so on that time there is no there is no flow here so your g 70.5 bit won't be activated anymore okay so they are just explaining here so then see here are some of the ladder addresses that can be assigned to inputs so here we have the m5 x2.1 m3 so here uh, this type of addresses we can also use it here in the input context okay so see this one is x x is the physical inputs from the machine io such as let me switches proximity switches and other relay contacts we have a lot of inputs okay a lot of types and sensors so those are all uh, comes under the physical inputs okay then one uh, f system inputs that confirm the cnc servos or spindle system status to the pmc so again they are mentioning f f is the system input from the cnc okay to confirm you're just giving one command to move the axis but we don't know uh, the uh, command is executed or not so cnc will give the uh, will give you the confirm signal so that is called f 
okay so that f signal is input to the pmc okay uh, the next one is keep release so keep release that are used to set later options and controlled by the parameter screen uh, if you want to control your later uh, then you can use the keep release i'll show you the later videos what is keep release and then the or internal release so release that exists within the latest software used to use for purpose determined by the latter developer so r is uh, we can use this internal relay we can use internal relays as a input contact and output context also so we have seen in uh, output context also so the next one is data data also and alarm alarm operator messages display okay so these are all the later input context and uh, we have listed out listed out some of the signals so these signals also can be represent like uh, input context we can use it in input context so the next one is pmc address table okay so here we are just comparing two types uh, of the pmc see here pmc rb5 is there and rb6 is here okay right one is rb5 and rb6 see x uh, look at the look at the x and y so these signals are same okay so i'm just comparing now f signals pmc input from cnc okay see here in pmc rb5 version we have uh, this uh, limited only f1000 to f1255 but here we are getting additional f2000 to f2511 so these are all the difference if you use the difference version of the pmc mean generally what varies is the number of io points between the different systems okay so if you if you use different types of pmc mean uh, there will be the variation of the number of io points so there is nothing more there okay uh, you don't confuse with your mind uh, just think the io points is differ from some uh, rb5 to rb6 okay see uh, in g signal also we have uh, we have taken the additional g signals and uh, keep release also there is no uh, difference like uh, in a x and y like this and uh, c a d l p so these signals are same here f and g signals are a little bit different maybe we have some pmc path uh, path 1 path 2 if you want to uh, control two cnc in a for example two cnc modules in a one cnc machine so there will be the path uh, pmc path pmc path 1 2 so in that uh, in the situation we need to use additional points additional f inputs and g, g uh, signals so that's why we will use the different types of uh, pmc versions maybe that will be more capable with the older one okay so this is for it so next video i'll explain you about the what is the cnc function and machine function so thanks for watching the video guys if you if you like this video please share it your with your friends